Hey guys, and welcome back to episode, well, part 10 of the Galadrium Elves campaign. So, here we are playing, of course, the Galadrium Elves, and it's our Monday, of course. Well, Monday for me, maybe not for you guys. So, basically, last episode, we just took Fernburg, uh, Fernburg, and so we can't really do anything, unfortunately. So, I will end the turn, and we will see what happens with the rest of Middle Earth. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. I definitely am. I love playing as the elves. They're the coolest faction, especially with their archers. If you haven't seen the last battle, go check it out. It's amazing. They absolutely destroyed, and I mean utterly destroyed, this goblin army. Well, orcs of Misty Mountain army, but they're basically snugger goblins. But yeah, they destroyed them like absolutely destroyed them there was so many dead bodies all over the place it was absolutely amazing uh, the only issue is that our archers just can't compete with those ants and we're still trying to upgrade ourselves so that we can compete with them but we will get there guys we will don't worry we will so yeah so we left off last episode taking that settlement and Unfortunately, we can't build or start um, getting more troops, but we will try to see maybe in this episode if we can get another army up and going, or for instance, if we can potentially upgrade some of the buildings so that we get a bit more population growth and things like that. Now, we have not much of a population growth in some of the smaller um, settlements. That's unfortunately how it will be. Uh, the only thing that we really need to do is just make sure that they're on low and slowly build up population over a certain time and hopefully they upgrade. But that will, I'm pretty sure, will have to be later on in the game. But that's alright, we will wait and we own them so of course we can wait and they can just make us a bit more money so our finances are quite well um, well we have quite a good financial structure now so we've got 7,000 which isn't that bad but we could do even better but that means that at least we do have that money if we need it for potential upgrades or building up another army and we will continue to grow our fin finances. But that should be enough talking. Hopefully Eastlings of Ruin figure out what they want to do. Alright, brilliant. So Calandros is under attack. I don't want you, sorry. Now these guys... Uh, what do we need here? So Elves are good. Northern men, taxes are fine, taxes, public orders alright. Now population is a bit of an issue. So that allows us, that's culture increase. What we could potentially, I don't even know what that does, but we'll get a town guard. At the current time, now Doggo Door looks like they finally are getting somewhere. So, yeah, that's the big issue. They worship the evil, evil Mordor people. So, we'll have a look around, see if we can't do something that maybe can get them to look at our side. Uh, we'll get the Hall of Songs. That should potentially help us as well. But of course we can't recruit anyone there. Over here, elves. I'm so we've got a... You. Stalkers. Well... My lord. Follow me. I guess we... Sire. I think we'll just hold Perfect off right there. And we will kill that little peasantry group or that little group 
For yeah, the we will move him up. Swiftly. Form up. At ease. And can we do anything here? No, unfortunately we can't. You'll but it looks like we do up. have another area that we can attack, which we will walk, well, move towards. I will get my spy to come up there to try and have a look and see what the enemy is actually up to. And where is my... there you are. Yes, my lord. My diplomat is slowly moving up towards question, the L. Impossible. Who are you? Approaching their dignitary. Who are you? I shall continue tomorrow. Stopping here. That looks like dwarfs. I don't like dwarfs. That's fine. We'll go and see them. We will. Now let's have a look. Yay, archers. More archers. Now that should be done soon. And that's unfortunately like that. So we are building up a bit more of an army. But we do need better population growth and other things like that. Finance. Expenditure. We are losing quite a bit. But we are gaining... Oh. So we are losing a bit, unfortunately. But that's alright, we will be able to get a bit of that money back once we start moving off and attacking places that we need to. Now we'll change this to... Growth. Yep. That's a bit happier, hopefully. And they will go in there. And so we'll end the turn here, guys. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. I definitely am, like I've already said a billion times. I'm just going to be quiet now and stop muttering. Uh, so yeah, this is part 10 of the Gladrium Elves, which it's quite good. Now. I'm really glad to see that I'm getting the feedback that I wanted with these YouTube videos and to see that you guys do enjoy them and it's not just me that enjoys them as well I'm not the only one that just enjoys making them you guys do kind of like it sometimes maybe debatable yeah you guys I don't know if you're watching this you, I guess you like it but I don't know everyone's different but I am enjoying this at least so hopefully you guys just keep putting your likes out there put comments in and subscribe and whatnot and I'll keep on doing this and We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so it's been what, like, I think it's about four or five weeks. Wait, it's been about a month that I, since I started this channel. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the fact that I'm actually at episode 10 of the Gladrium's campaign. And I've actually got, well, the campaign of the Haven of Umbar was actually my first YouTube video that was actually my first like the first and that's because I was looking on YouTube and I was like there's no one doing Haven of Umbar why is that mm, I may as well do it and so I played it I played it and it wasn't I recorded it but I wasn't actually gonna put it up online and then one day I was like yeah I may as well just chuck it online just see how it goes see if you guys like it or not and yeah, it seems like you guys kind of liked it, maybe. Nah, you guys hated it, I know. I can tell the truth. I'm joking, guys. So yeah, it's a Monday here, so I've been at work, which is always pretty crappy, but work is work, guys. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Work and school and everything like that is pretty crappy. But yeah, so we'll just continue on with this campaign. That's if Eastlings actually... Mo yeah, that's if they made up their mind. Come on, dude. Hurry up. Alright, no, I don't want ya. But I yes, do want you Lord. to my go Lord. into Come there. Sire. Scout the area. Order's completed. And within a turn, Engage. we will be there. Which will definitely be good. Now, 
my lord. There's my spy. So I'll move my spy up. Approaching quietly. And it looks like they are not sending a force down at the moment. So that's always a kind of a good thing. But uh, population growth. What do I need? What do I need, guys? Uh, you got fear for some reason. That that's sweet. Don't know why you guys are so scared, but whatever. Uh, can I recruit anything? No, I can't recruit anything. Ooh, uh, catapults. Ooh, I would like to get that. Armor. -er. I don't know what I should do. I need to get something that really financially could help me out as well. Choices, 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 guys. Choices. Proved food production. We'll go for a market. No, no. I take it back. We'll go for an armor. Yep. That is what we are doing. I never said otherwise. <laughs> Alright. Can't do any. It's getting annoying, these like little. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! We can recruit here, guys! <laughs> we'll actually retrain these, but we can actually recruit here? My god! We can actually recruit here! That's brilliant! So, Dogodor is actually I'm up gonna and stick running. You. So, what we'll do is we will Elf. chuck him in there. Onward. Scatter them! We must defend these lands! Yeah, I'm just going to auto-resolve it, no point, just auto-resolve. Yeah, Elves, we must give up the road. My lord. Elves, we must give up the road. By the light we will bring you up here. Over here. Yes, my because lord. of the fact that I want to put a bunch of watchtowers up. They're not happy though, but that's alright. That's alright, they can be a little bit unhappy. And yeah, we still can't do anything there. My lord. But we will take that. So we'll end turn, guys. What is it you wish to talk about? Well. Ah, oh, that's right, that's right. So trade rights. Map information for map information. Alliance. That was all another proposition for us, I trade right, map information for map information. Let's forget this for now. Well, that was uneventful. Good day. Dwarfs. Jesus. Sorry, I had to mute myself, guys. I just... Dwarfs, yep. Says everything. Why do you guys have to be so short and not care about Middle Earth? I wanted to swear, but I muted myself. It's just annoying that they just didn't accept it, like, you know, any... That's alright. That That's absolutely fine. They... They didn't want... Sorry. I am calm. The dwarfs annoy me. I know. Damn dwarfs. Maybe we should go to war with them, guys. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Don't hate me if you like the dwarfs. I'm just saying. The only dwarfs I like is the dwarfs of Erebor. They're the only ones that actually did anything. They got off their butt and got their own homeland back. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Spoiler if you didn't know, but that's alright. You guys will figure it out. This whole map's kind of a spoiler, and kind of the Lord of the Rings was a massive spoiler, but yep. Sorry, <laughs> I spoiled it for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I stopped laughing. I, I am deeply apologetic the fact that I spoiled that for you guys. I will understand. If you guys will hate me forever. 
but that's alright. Alright, so <laughs> we will see what happens, and in the next turn we will actually go and take that settlement from those bloody goblins, and we will take it back, and we will also start moving up north. We need to start moving up north, because if we take out more of the goblins, it means more money for us. And I think the Vale's going to be the issue, though, with that area. Because they could... We might not have military access with them. And so if we go through their lines, they might get pissed off with us or something like that. But that's alright. If they just get annoyed with us, we'll just kill them. Yeah. Very elf-like, I know. But we'll just kill them all. It's all good. We tried to kill the ants. So we can just kill everyone else. All works. Hurry up, Easterlings. Jeez. Finally. A Thillion attack. That's brilliant. Yes, I know that that was yes, going to be rising. So, you really don't want to give me map information for map information? Just do it. Do it, dwarfs. Do it. Do it or else we're going to war. I accept this offer. Dang and right. Something else you what I thought. Then? Trade rights. Seems quite Good. Pleasure, I'm Lord not going to be your ally. As you guys wish. wasted my time. I shall continue tomorrow. Dang dwarfs. Friggin. And <sighs> dwarfs these days, they never want to give you anything, just want to take everything. Okay, Elf. you need to get Switch back to me. there. And... Peasants are rising. Cultural unrest, that's because... We will brothers. get to that. Over here, elves! We will need that one! Now what is along here? Gladrium's realm. That's Mirkwood. That wasn't me. Like the wind. So we stepped on to bandits and rebels. So there's actually rebels down here. That's that's good to know. Over here, elves. Oh yeah, the grey outline should have told me that. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we will recruit these guys. Yes, we will recruit them. And we. That's a waste of space. Ah, those mines. Beautiful mines. Okay. And can we recruit? No, but we can retrain. Okay, we'll retrain then, I guess. And there's nothing to do there. Anything? No. How about here? No. Elven but warriors. we will move this elven warrior towards here. To now we will build them. I don't need, I don't think, another one of them. But we will get them. Oh. Yes. Two ladders, and that. Brilliant. Wait. One turn. Maintain. Your weapons ready, elves. Okay. We have them on the run, guys. All right. My lord. Now let's have a look around here. Approaching quietly. Can I Approaching see? Quietly. Okay. So Vale is neutral. Impossible, my lord. And. Quietly. The veil is attacking them, and that is Goblin Town. They just look weird, anyways. All right. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. Well, that's good for you that you're a warrior, not a diplomat. I would never have noticed with your pointy-ass sword. I thought it was something else. All right, anyways. Yes, we will there continue here. Resolve. 
I'm not gonna resolve any issues. I don't want to go back to counseling. No, I'm joking. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we will... I wonder, can we recruit... Might be here that we need to... I could recruit a... No. Oh. So there is a limit to them. Okay. So let's go find them. My Lord. You're there. And you're moving up to here. Alright, that's fine. Planned. We will end the turn, and then this should be the last turn, and then we will go to war against, well not war, we will have a battle with the Orcs of the Misty Mountain. Now if Vale does get into our way, or maybe Imladrius gets in our way, we'll destroy them both. Maybe not Imladrius, we'll just destroy the Vale. Yes. Destroy men. Let the elves rule. That 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 would be great. Just us. We'll take out Thrundeal's realm. <laughs> and Imladrius. And everyone else. How about we just take out the whole world? No. That'd be an extremely long campaign. We'll get to that guys, we'll get to that. I don't know, I might do a campaign where it's just the elves trying to take over the world, or, or Middle-earth. Yeah, Middle-earth, so far. But, yes. I bet our archers would be pretty good, though. I know that they'll destroy Mordor pretty easily, because Mordor is getting screwed by Gondor, and I'm playing as Mordor, which was quite exciting the fact that they kept on destroying everything that I threw at them I threw what two armies at them they did not full stacks but you know a pretty good force to be reckoned with and they just destroyed them all which was quite sad I was quite upset about but it's fine we'll kill Gondor we will we're at least holding them in areas that we need to. And the Eastlings of Ruin are making their mind up. And there we go. Yes, you can go get married. Yes. Go get Lord. married. Without question. Go be a pimp. As you wish. Not allowed to get married. Go get a, go be a pimp. Uh, and some fan comedy. Eh, Dunlings. I wonder what the Dunlings want. We don't even see him or anything. I didn't do anything to you, Dunlings. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't actually see the ends <laughs> at all. They're just like, no. Nah. We're too lazy By the light to walk all the way there. Scout the area. Tree bear's like, no. Nah. We we'll do it I'm some good. other time. Uh, Dogodor, what are you doing? You're recruiting, and that, this is happy-ish, and we are recruit, well we're not recruiting there, but we do have a bunch of forces there, can't do anything there, can't do anything there. For the light. Move these guys up. Swiftly. Uh, okay. So it is time Come for a battle. Assemble. So let's assault them. Time for war, guys. Time for war. So they have a bunch of Snaga armed defenders, which they've spawned in. Some war riders. Naga skirmishes, archers, goblin inventory, archers, inventory. Ooh, heavy goblin archers. Look at them. And then look at the heavy goblin infantry. That's fine. Kill them. Fight to the end. We'll just let our archers do most of the work, as we normally do. The general will be like, yep. Don't worry, guys. He'll be rallying his men, just like, yep. Don't worry, guys. These archers will do everything for us. We'll just walk in. 
it's fine. I gotta get comfy, sorry. I was getting comfy. I, I like these elvish battles. Alright, so we will wait. Don't tell me it's all the... Let's wait again. Okay, we'll start deployment there. Now, where is... Um... Uh... What's that? Uh... What the... Um... What the... Okay... I have a question... Where is the gate? Ah... Uh, okay, so they don't actually have a gate. Well, that is brilliant. So, I've kind of wasted time trying... Wait, do they have... I can't tell if they have a gate. Alright, so we come up here. There's no gate here. Uh, the ladders aren't going to be very helpful. Looks like... Okay. Um... We will get you here, drop that. You come here, drop. You come here, dr drop. You can drop that. But I want you guys to come and pick that up. Now, one, two, three, four, tribe. So this is the tribe group. This will be my amazing archer group. Get in a line. Get into a line. And then we will have these guys in the other group of archers, of course. And then we will get our inventory up here. And we will get these guys here. Now, I literally don't know what's going to happen, but that is fine. We will see how it goes. Now, I think that we can just stroll. I'm so confused. Where do we... Okay, so they're coming all the way down. Okay, I'm just wondering if they're going to come out to actually meet us or not. We will set our arches up like that. Oh, more like that. And then we'll set these guys up like that. Make those move forward. Yeah, these guys over here. question is guys uh, how are we gonna go kill these guys these guys are like running away or something okay we will watch these guys we will watch patiently that just jumped off the edge of the world there uh. okay so they're actually running to there so that's uh, a long drop. Okay. Okay. This is confusing. Alright, we will get... We'll get these guys up here. Get these guys up here. Get these guys up here. I want you to drop that. And then come up here. And then I want you guys here. That hill there. Then you have this area here, and the hill there. These men are coming over here.
Okay. Yep, I'm confused. Okay. So I guess what we will do is we will get these guys along here. And I want these archers here. Uh, we'll get these guys actually here. Uh, we'll get these guys in group four. So fourth group. Fourth group. Fourth group. Come here. Now these guys, I want to split you guys up into different groups. So four can be five. Three can be four. Two can sort itself out. So you guys can be three. You guys can be two. And oh, this is so awkward trying to navigate on these maps. And then you guys can be here. Number three. Number three. Number 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 three. Come here. Number four. Go there. Alrighty. Now walk, my men. Don't know exactly where you guys are going. I will watch the enemy though. Hi, Ox. Ah, uh, hello, little Ox. What you doing, Ox? What you doing? You guys look friendly. Ah, look at the friendly little Ox. You guys aren't scary at all. Oh, bastards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, also, I... Uh, uh, Brilliant. So you guys are on skirmish mode. So I'm going to take these guys off skirmish. I don't want these guys on skirmish at all. Don't tell me you guys are moving. You guys aren't moving yet. New. And I also want you guys to hold off fire you guys need to hold off fire and you guys hold off fire what are you doing no come back here four come back here you guys are going to screw this up for me you 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 elves jesus Walk. It's gonna take forever now. And fortunately, they have to go all the way back down here and all the way over here. Ah, oh God. I guess it's good that there's no time limit on this stuff. Now, I will edge these guys forward a little bit. Now, hopefully, this is kind of where the archer range stops. Now, we'll get these archers here. That is a fair distance, isn't it? Spearmen. Okay, so they got skirmishes there. Swordsman there. Heavy. Let's bring you guys closer a little bit. Shh, quietly. Just quietly. Just, just sneak up on them. Just quietly, guys. Quietly. Very quietly. Yeah, this will be a longer episode than half an hour. So I hope you guys don't mind. It's just because I don't want to lose as many troops as I could potentially, and I do want to take the settlement against these orcs. 
Uh, quietly move your butts up. Open fire. Open fire upon them. Whoa. Okay. Hold. Move these guys up here. We will take everyone, put them back on fire at will. So if we can take out the wargs, then it shouldn't be as much of a issue. Can you guys fall back now? Yes, fall back. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Just tell me that those wargs are taken care of. Now, these guys need to haul butt and get up there. Now, hold and continue and fire at them. Yeah, fire at them. Okay, and so... Those wretched little people, yeah, they have... They have been destroyed. Brilliant. Okay, so we will get these archers across here. And we will get these archers across. We'll get them across there. We'll get these guys up here. So I'm pretty sure that the. Oh, the wogs are there. Hi, little wogs. Hi, wogs. And we are firing upon these guys now. And these guys should be hopefully moving up soon. I'll let these guys walk now. Hopefully they don't turn all the way around. Because that would be a bit retarded. Don't tell me. No, you, you guys aren't. Are you guys? Where? Oh, that's good. That's good. Alright. Brilliant. So we are firing upon these guys now. And we are firing upon these guys that are coming down to try and face us. Which, it really... You know, that, that's, that's, that's alright if they want to come and try and face us. However, we will fire upon these guys. Now this group will fire upon them. And this group will fire upon them. And I will allow my spearmen to deal with the rest that do get through those volleys. Which will probably be very slim groups, but nevertheless they may potentially get through those volleys. Alright, so we will get them to fire upon them. And we will get these guys across here. And we will fire at those wargs now, however. I would like these guys to come across here though. And defend those areas. So they're still firing at the wargs. And we will fire upon them. And now we'll fire upon them. And look at the amount of damage that we do to these goblins. The enemy, if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Why are you guys under attack? They could be no, not firing at us. What are you doing? You guys need to run away. Run away. Fire upon them, please. Now, I would like...
like you guys to fall back there. You guys can stop, stop running. Fire upon them. And these men are forming up brilliantly. So we might take some casualties, unfortunately, against them. But that is alright because we are whittling their numbers down slowly but efficiently. Okay, so you guys, I uh, would like, this, we will smash the enemy. like you guys to stop firing now. Now I will slowly start marching my forces up. Woods. Stop, hold, fire, hold, hold, fire. Now you guys need to move up like so. I'll move you guys there. And then we will move you guys up like so. That means that their archers will start beginning to fire upon us, but that is fine. That is kind of what we want. Well, not really what we want, but we'll be able to deal with the damages of that. Now, let's start getting these guys to open fire, please. Open fire upon them, please. These, they've got defenders here and goblin spearmen and a whole bunch of snuggers, archers, the bodyguards. Alrighty. So even though they are up the hill, we are still doing a bit of damage to them, which is brilliant. Now I want you guys to hold there and enable guard mode. And I want you guys to come across here and fire it well when you're ready. And of course on the side, I will move them up closer. So these guys need to be first. And these guys need to be here. Now I will take these guys off fire at will. Let these guys fire while I move up the archers. And we will still of course do quite a lot of damage to them. Now these guys should be on fire at will. Spearmen are taking a bit of damage now, but that means that we can push up finally with our inventory. Or well, maybe not with our inventory just yet. It looks like we have started to slowly use up our if we like this, arrows we now, which is unfortunate. However, I will pull these archers back, and I will send these guys in now. That means that I will bring these guys. Uh, I don't really need you guys to be in this battle, but I could get you in this battle, however. I'll get you to come up as well. But you guys have no arrows anymore, unfortunately. The 
battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. And uh, you've got some arrows left. So brilliant. So those two groups. So make sure that they go after the, their archers. But it looks like they have engaged us here with their heavy inventory. That is fine. We will pull these guys back. I uh, will make sure that he is pulled back completely. And I will take them off fire at will. Uh, wait a second. Stop. Fire upon them, please. Yep. Yeah. Start leveling the playing field for us a bit. And what would I like to fire at? Armored, armored, heavy goblins. There we go. We'll fire at them. The last of our arrows. Now uh, we'll put these elves in the fray as well. get these men to charge in now. However, our archers are really doing a number on them. And the arrows that we do have, we can still use to take out the rest of them. Now, I definitely need to make sure that I don't lose my general bodyguard. But as they're just fighting against Snaga, there shouldn't be an issue with that. Uh, get in there. You guys can get in there. You guys can fire at them. You guys can pull back now. Uh, you guys can fight them. I want you guys to fire upon them now. And they should be wavering, which is brilliant. We'll get them into the battle now. And have we destroyed them? Let's run them down. And I want you guys to run up here as fast as you guys can blow his horn Take out that one last goblin, yep, brilliant, and then we will charge it into the back of these guys here, while my archers fire upon the backs of these archers. So we have nearly taken the field which is brilliant even though our army has been depleted quite badly and the fact that we've had so many battles with this army we're still winning and still doing quite a bit of a difference it's quite surprising but quite great at the same time Our men no longer command the castle. And so there's only what? Two groups here. There's one heavy. Yeah, and then the Uruk bodyguard. 
May as though Urk bodyguard down. This is a clear it's victory. Brilliant. It's always a good sign. And of course we won. So brilliant, we have taken that settlement. <sighs> That's always a good thing. We've finally taken that settlement. And of course now we can look to the north. Maybe talk to Vale, maybe get a agreement with them about um, our military passing through their lands to take care of the rest of the orcish scum. Enter it. So we will occupy it. Alrighty, so I will leave it here guys and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will catch you guys later. Remember, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Bye.